guys. Ah, I have been getting beaten up by fossil fuel slaves today. Good Lord, the little dog and I have been out uh, <coughs> with our fossil fuel slaves behind the rototiller from hell there during the collapse of global industrial <coughs> civilization, enjoying our fossil fuel slaves while we still can. The $8 per gallon gas, $8 per gallon for the rototiller here in, uh, in New York, baby. And it is, what is it? It is Wednesday, May 18th. 2022 so uh now that i am uh back back in the studio on this cool rainy evening uh i was thinking about uh talking about this dire is it dire or stark which one is it dire or stark we have a new uh which one is it? It's either dire or it's stark. Which one? It is stark. We have stark. Yes, this story. Uh, UN launches plan to speed up renewables usage as new report shows looming climate disaster. Yes, the United Nations chief on Wednesday launched a five-point plan to jumpstart broader use of renewable energy, hmm. hoping to revive world attention on climate change as the UN's weather agency reported that greenhouse gas concentrations, ocean heat, sea level rise, and ocean acidification all hit new records last year. Quoting our old friend Antonio Guterres, quote, We must end fossil fuel pollution and accelerate the renewables energy transition before we incinerate our only home. Time is running out. Blows quote, There's no mention of a window of opportunity. His latest stark warning. His latest stark warning about possible environmental disaster comes after the World Meteorological Organization issued its State of the Climate Report. Yes, which said the last seven years were the seven hottest on record. The impacts of extreme weather have led to deaths and disease, migration, and economic losses in the hundreds of billions of dollars. And the fallout is continuing. Mm. Yes, said Guterres, today's State of the Climate Report is a dismal litany of humanity's failure to tackle climate disruption. The global energy system is broken and bringing us ever closer to climate catastrophe. There you go. And of course, we have uh, a grand total of zero comments zero comments on that story. I, I actually read four versions of this story looking for one comment from a planet of eight billion people. Blah, blah, blah. Not one comment. I love that Yahoo News has brought back its comments because uh, it, you know, it's a pretty good barometer on uh, how much the planet cares about the collapse of a planet. But anyway, uh, I will probably get back to this on Saturday on the, the UN's five-point five point strategy to save the planet. 
we will talk about that maybe on Saturday. But today, good Lord, I think three alert uh, alert listeners have uh, sent me this article, which I had already flagged myself yesterday. And this one had 113 comments. Okay, not zero. 113 comments. And good Lord, how many of you saying we had to stop all the presses and share this story. This was actually from yesterday's mainstream media from what a business insider. Get all business insider. <clears throat> okay. We're going to talk about what is on Elon Musk's mind. What is Elon thinking about today? <clears throat> Elon Musk says we cannot let humankind end in adult diapers and that the environment would be fine if we doubled our population. There you go. Okay. Elon Musk argued on Monday that it is, quote, total nonsense, close quote, that people were not having kids because it was bad for the environment and made another plug for people to have more children to prevent the collapse of civilization. How many kids does Elon have? I think he has eight. I think Elon Musk, uh, eight children. Okay, take it away, Elon, and explain this to us clueless morons down in here in the Doomosphere, apparently, who have not figured this out. <clears throat> Quote, Some people think that having fewer kids is better for the environment. That is total nonsense. The environment is going to be fine. The environment is going to be fine even if we doubled the size of the humans. Yes. Even if we doubled the size of the humans, at least maintain our numbers, you know, at 8 billion, at least maintain. I think the Georgia Guidestones uses that word, maintain our population. Elon Musk must be a fan of the Georgia Guidestones, but of course the Georgia Guidestones, I think, aren't we supposed to maintain our population at 500 million? Uh, so Elon uh, veering off from the Guidestones claiming 16 times that many people to maintain, at least maintain our numbers. We don't necessarily need to grow dramatically, but at least let's not gradually dwindle away until civilization ends with all of us in adult diapers in a whimper. Yes. In a whimper. Better to go out with a bang than a whimper. <clears throat> Musk did not provide any evidence to back up his claims. Swedish researchers in 2017 found that having one fewer child per family could reduce carbon emissions by about 58.6% metric tons each year in developed countries. Other experts said that a change in lifestyle and a compounding change in pro-climate policies could have a greater impact on the environment than not having children. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh Musk also claimed that if people did not, did not have kids, humankind would 
collapse upon itself. Musk has previously voiced his concerns about global birth rates. In December, he warned that, quote, civilization is going to crumble, close quote, if people do not have enough children. He furthered that argument last week by claiming that Japan could, quote, cease to exist because its birth rate was declining. While birth rates in some countries are indeed falling, the 2019 UN World Population Prospects Report, the most recent edition, estimates that the global population could reach 9.7 billion in 2050 from 7.7 billion in 2019. But it is not rare to see birth rates decline during economic downturns, as Insider previously reported. The soaring cost of living in the U.S., for example, has also prompted many millennial Americans to put off having babies. In Japan's case, people have blamed the high cost of having children restrictive immigration policies and gender inequality for its population decline. Many people have also cited the environmental impacts of overpopulation as a reason to hold back on having children. In 2019, AOC said those concerns were driving some to not want to have children or to have fewer babies so there would be less strain on the environment. All right, so we have 114 comments. Uh, okay, let's check out some of the uh, comments. Here is Leland. Elon has missed it this time. So has Business Insider. Overpopulation is the likely root cause of most human social issues these days, although very few are willing to admit it. Fifteen thumbs up. <clears throat> Here's Paul. There goes Elon again mouthing off about things he knows next to nothing about. He can't even make up his mind about whether or not he will buy Twitter, and we're going to take population advice from him? Not. What is he so worried about? Not having workers for his companies? Generally speaking, mankind is not exactly helpful to the planet. If mankind cannot take care of the planet, Mother Nature will, although we, do, we will not like how she does it. 16 thumbs up. Here is Morbid Demoness. Uh-oh, Morbid Demoness. Sounds like a doomer chick to me. <clears throat> I love crowded cities. Traffic, being able being unable to secure a doctor's appointment in a timely fashion, and especially giant condo buildings and tract housing with no yards. We should absolutely increase the population so that we can all allow all lower our standards of living to third world toilet levels. Who doesn't like being in cramped Swarming conditions filled with millions of other people. That's how humans were designed to live, without parks or nature preserves. Yes, and life will get even better the more we breed. Let's do this. Thirteen thumbs up for the Doomer check. Okay, remind Jeanette wants to know how many children Musk has. I think he has eight, Jeanette. Uh, 
Also, world population was much lower, yet civilization continued to advance. How can that be if Musk is right? Hmm. Here is Ms. February. G. Another billionaire saying we should not worry about the environment. Imagine that. 19 thumbs up. Yes. Uh, here is F Tech. Nonsense. If the human population doubles, the natural environment will totally collapse and the human population will then finally crash. 24 thumbs up. Okay, here is Ahisma. Another fine example of how a person who is brilliant in one area can be absolutely clueless in another area. Yes, of course, he is looking at population from a business perspective of doubling the number of potential workers and consumers. It would be prudent of him to investigate the actual science before making such uninformed and ludicrous claims. Twelve thumbs up. Here is words at work. Suddenly stopped caring what Musk thinks. Twenty-six thumbs up. Yes. Citizen concerned, <clears throat> mentally, the more out there Musk gets, the closer he gets to supervised help. Here is Lucas. World population should be one to two billion. Pollution of the air, land, and sea could be drastically reduced if we are not going to let go of fossil fuels, this meaning reducing the population of this planet to one to two billion people is the only way out. Okay, here is Dave. We could use huge warehouses to hydroponically grow food. That can help increase the world population. Just look at India and the U.S. wheat crop got scorched. Yet today we have incredible grow lights that can be designed for specific plants. Yes, we have a fellow named Humpty Dumpty don't know who this Humpty Dumpty character is weighing in with this one. <clears throat> I did not realize wheat fields grew in warehouses. This apocalyptic grasping at straws always goes into high gear as civilizations collapse. Okay. Here is guest. This is ridiculous. People are having fewer children because they cannot afford it. Period. End. Full stop. Why are we still pretending it is anything but the fact that a large swath of this country is broke? Yes. <clears throat> Robert, just because Musk is unbelievably rich does not mean he is smarter than everyone and that his thoughts should be viewed as special wisdom. Yes. Um, 
Anyway, here's Stephen. Less people, more trees, please. Here's Jay. You think shortages are bad now? Imagine if we had twice the population while going through this. It is just extremely stupid having kids because it is way too expensive. The cost of living without kids is already a struggle. And on top of that, I would like to buy a house one day, which I definitely would not be able to do if I had kids. I would rather not send myself into poverty by having a kid. Thank you. Yes. Uh, here is <clears throat> the world. This is Rob. The world population is still booming, so I don't see what he is whining about. I guess he's concerned wealthy people are not having enough kids so they can become future customers. What does Elon Musk know about the environment and its capacity to sustain 14 billion people? I'm guessing nothing. Yes. Okay. One more. We're going to wind up with Donald. We could go on with this. <clears throat> Donald. Why do people listen to money-grubbing sales pitches from pathological billionaires. <laughs> anyway, it does give me hope that there are some people with brains and, uh, you know, the silent majority of doomers is starting to come a little bit come out now that Yahoo has brought back comments to its... Uh, to their news stories. 114 comments, the vast majority of them, uh, telling uh, Elon Musk he is a clueless moron, an apocalyptic, hopium soaked, clueless moron with eight children. Anyway. So, uh, I hope all you people uh, wanting me to read that are happy now. And I guess we can deal with stark UN uh, reports some other time. I'm going to get out there and uh, enjoy an egg roll while I still can. Would you like an egg roll, Vermog? No. Bye, guys. Oh. Ugh, Lord, little dog, that was too much of a workout today like that. You know that.